All right, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News, and holy shit, here we go. It has begun. The New York State Senate has put forth Assembly Bill A-416. It relates to the removal of cases, contacts, and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. (laughs) <laughs> ah, this can't be good. California's going to be jealous. You, you knew it had to be, you know, one of these liberal shitholes. Wait till California gets wind of this. I'll be like, wait, you can do that? Hold my beer. Wait till you see what they come up with. So I've been talking about how the cops shouldn't be enforcing these rules and edicts and mandates. Well, here we go. They're going to try and make it a law. The bill lets Cuomo lock up carriers of communicable diseases for any health emergency. The New York Assembly introduced a new bill to legalize taking our freedom away for any health emergency on the governor's ruling. These leftist lunatics could use any epidemic or communicable disease, any health emergency, as determined by the governor. Now, here is some of the wording in this bill. Removal and detention of cases, contacts, and carriers who are or may be a danger to public health. The provisions of this section shall be utilized in the event that the governor declares a state of health emergency due to an epidemic of any communicable disease. Upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is or may be endangered by a case, contact, or carrier, or suspected case, contact, or carrier, of a contagious disease that, in the opinion of the governor, after consultation with the commissioner, may pose an imminent and significant threat to the public health resulting in severe morbidity or high mortality, the governor or his or her delegate, including but not limited to the commissioner or the heads of the local health departments, may order the removal and or detention of such a person or of a group of such persons by issuing a single order, identifying such persons either by name or by a reasonably specific description of the individuals or group being detained. Such person or group of persons shall be detained in a medical facility or other appropriate facility or premises designated by the governor. So it's off to the re-education camps for you. And you know what they can do? Anytime the governor decides he doesn't like what somebody's saying or doing, he can just declare you a threat to the public health, and off you go. If you live in New York, (laughs) you better get a hold of these guys. And let them know that you are not putting up with this nonsense. And like I say, wait till California gets wind of this. I mean, this is insane, pure insanity. That they're going to just let you be rounded up and taken off. And you know what'll happen next? They'll they'll make an app so that all the Karens out there in the world can turn you in. They'll be turning their neighbors in. Hey, this guy says this. This guy thinks this. Hey, this guy's got a Trump sign in his yard. Oh, there you go. You got the, you're, you're a danger to public health. All right, I'm not going to make you suffer through the reading. I'm going to put the link in the description for this article and the bill itself. And you can go do your own homework on this. And, man, if this happens, we're pretty much done. <laughs>